So you've seen the past with those crazy rabbits, and they are coming exclusively on the Wii. But what about the near future? I am really, really, really excited about this. I'm talking about one of my favorite things of all time, Ghost Recon Future Soldier. Get ready to see some new gadgets. The face of war is ever-changing. And technology will determine the outcome of all future wars. Armed with the latest military prototypes, the ghosts are inserted deep behind enemy lines. are the tip of the spear on the battlefield of tomorrow. The ghosts are the elite soldiers of the future. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Adrian Lacey and Rafael Morado from Ghost Recon, future soldier of Ubisoft Paris. Come on out, guys. Mr. McCann, nice Hello, to meet you. Hello, Adrian. Hello. Uh, so uh, tell me about this awesome game. <laughs> well, with, with the video, we wanted to just give you a little glimpse at how the battlefield of tomorrow is going to be impacted by technology. Uh, how it's going to impact the soldier and ultimately the ghosts. Yeah, I'm blown away. I, I can't express to you how excited I really am about this game. <laughs> I'm really excited. Okay. So I would not, I don't want to see my children grow up. I want to just play this. Uh, these soldiers look amazing. Are, uh, they are spec ops, right? They are spec ops. Uh, basically, they're a, a highly trained precision unit uh, equipped with the most advanced combat systems. Uh, what we've done for the game is we've basically, basically worked with uh, various organizations, agencies, military consultants, and so right. on and so forth to have a look at, at, at what's going to happen in the future. We've then taken those prototypes, integrated it as part of the gameplay, and then it gives the player a chance to sort of get a feel of tomorrow's Which soldier. army uh, around this world has invisible suits? Uh, you'd be surprised. Oh, There's really? There's many of them, actually. Okay, yeah. all right. And it's coming out very soon. Just name a country. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what, you guys? Australia? <laughs> what, USA? USA? Okay, no, exactly. <laughs> uh, and basically from there, one of, the, one of the most invisible things that you've seen is the optical camouflage. Now, the optical camouflage is an interesting thing, simply because it adds a sort of tactical layer to the battlefield. Because now you can pop up, you can disappear, and you can reposition yourself. So it's very right. accessible. And uh, the best way to see it is to show it in the game. Please, show okay. So us. Raphael's yes. going to launch the demo now. There's a few transitions in the game, uh, just in the interest of saving time. Uh, so when you see the black fades, that's just because we're skipping through the map. Right. Um, now you've got to try and attack a stronghold by the enemy and basically disrupt them, and most importantly is actually to capture your high-value target and hunt them down. That's, Euro the Euro that's not Miami Beach. <laughs> that's the European coast. All right. What happened to the ocean? It's, it's gone away. All right. Global yeah, warming. Great. Kind of stuff. Wow. That needed the invisible suit for that. <laughs> that was... <laughs> Heads up, the U.S. convoy is still en route. We have intel on bus. So now you're going to start your approach. Here we go. Watch. Tango set up on your movement. Request I've satellite scan. Yes. Roger. So this is your new cross-com device. This gives you added situational awareness on the battlefield and most importantly lets you spot the enemy. 18 Tango. Hold. Person of interest here. Daniel Kulinski, the Jack of Corps. Change of plans. We're taking this guy alive this time, 30. Understood. Moving. Kozak, clear the path. Tango down. 
That guy had a family. You I had 200 feet. <laughs> so basically now you're gonna see one of the advances of the optical yeah, camo because now for Ghost Recon and you to Ghost Recon is basically close quarter combat and physicality. Yeah. Can I please take this demo with me? Go there. Take him. Roger. Sure. Heads up. We got thermals. That guy's not paying good enough attention. His friend has a huge hole in his face right now. <laughs> you know, I have 200 feet. <laughs> hey, I got three tangos. Hold your fire. Stand by. We are in the artillery post. South of Sky Command is coming. We are in the army. We will watch it for 6 minutes. The end of the day. There is. You're going to start your final approach with all your teammates on your person of interest. And you're going to work together as a team to capture. Be a warning, right? Pepper, take the one on the left. 30, take right. Kozak, get behind him and bag him. Roger. Now we're going to show you how you get a different viewpoint of the battlefield. It's all about different angles for the special ops and how they deal with different situations. So now it's a bit more vertical and you look down on the battlefield. They got a ground job. Come on, come on, come on. Rename that game awesome. Wow. Well, thank you guys for coming. That was the greatest thing I've ever seen. Well, um, I mean, I was going to say to you, Joel, just before I go, I wanted to tell you that this Ghost Recon is actually playable, the full campaign in four-player co-op for the first time. 
as wow. well as that, it's obviously available in 3D stereoscopic. I feel like you're lying to me now, and you're just <laughs> trying because you're gonna. This is amazing! Wow. And stereoscopic 3D and uh, HD. You know the traditional one, the Lord. retro one. All right. Um, there you go, man. Santa Claus, everybody. Um, <laughs> thank you guys. This thank you. Looks so, Thank you very so much. Awesome. Man. Wow.